so we are going to write the code for led blink as you can see this is the code for the led glowing which we did earlier now i'm going to add one header file that is hash include qt il slash delay dot h so this is the header file which is being used for the delay function and what is that delay function is it means that while we are glowing the led for one second and then we putting that led would be off for one second so that one second time period is being used as a function as a delay function we used in this program and that is declared in this header file so we are using that delay function how to write this let you let me write this so this is delay underscore ms and one milli one thousand millisecond that means one second and i'm gonna declare port b now as equal to zero x zero zero and then another delay function delay underscore ms and one thousand milliseconds so what that actually means port b or the pin b zero is high for one second that means delay function here used one second that port b pin b zero is high and then for one second that pin b zero is low so led would be glowing for one second then off for one second and it is repeating itself so this is the code for how to blink the led So you can see the circuit diagram is almost and very similar to the previous one which we did in the LED glow. So this in the LED blinking what we have to do is to write the code which is different which we did just before. So double tap on the microcontroller, locate that file and that file in the Atmos Studio and it's going to be LED and we have to put that hex file and this is it. And afterwards, uh, the frequency is 8 megahertz. Just click OK and just play that. And you can see the LED is blinking for one second. And that means it is on for one second and off for one second. So this is a program of LED blinking and this is a simulation. Afterwards, now we are going to do the hardware part. Select 80 mega 32 and then click on added fuse. Go for internal RC oscillator and 8 megahertz of frequency. Click on write. If you get fuse bit returned successfully, then good. After fuse bit returned successfully, click on close button and thereafter click on the location button and search for LED glow.hex which is a program you want to send to the microcontroller and then click on save then click on the right button to send the program to microcontroller so now you can see the output yes so this is the LED which is being blinking for the one second means this being on for one second and off for one second